Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna bring the spring vibes with this look, as you can see in the thumbnail. So we're gonna jump right into the tutorial. I'm going in with some loose setting powder to mattify the skin around her eyebrows and also the hairs itself. It just helps the pencil. To me, honestly, it just, the pencil goes on the skin a lot better, like maybe a little bit lighter so it's not as harsh. Um, it keeps the brows matte and the skin around it matte because we all know that most times like when our breakup, when our makeup starts to break up, our eyebrows is like the first to start getting like that greasy, nasty look. So I like to prep the brows with powder and I'm just using my L'Oreal uh, Pro, I think it's called, no, L'Oreal Stylist Pencil in Dark Brunette to outline the top and the bottom and then I'm going to fill in her eyebrows. Also, if you feel like use, if you feel like it's, it looks like my hand is being heavy when I'm using this pencil, it's because it is. With this pencil, you definitely have to add a lot more pressure for the product to come out. In my opinion, the pencil is a little bit more on the waxy side. Um, so you have to put a little bit more pressure on the skin for the payoff to be like how you want it to be. So for concealer, I actually mixed a MAC 24 hour concealer with a Tarte concealer just to get me the color that I was going for. Um, throughout the video, like I'm probably not going to know the names and colors of everything that I use. So it'll just be linked. It'll be um, mentioned in a description down below. But yeah, I'm just going to take that concealer, which is about maybe a shade, a shade and a half lighter than her. And I'm going to take my Shop Miss A brush in 143 and I'm going to use that to just trace out and shape her eyebrows on the top and on the bottom i use the same color for the top and the bottom by the way And this is what the brows look like when we're done. I tried to get them as even as possible. And then we're going to move on to the eyes. So I'm just using my Helen E eyeshadow primer to, um, you know, use as a, it's going to be my base quote unquote primer for the eyeshadow look. And I'm just making sure that everything is nicely blended with the concealer. Going in with my Juvia's Place Honey Eyeshadow Quad. And I'm going to go in with that brown eyeshadow. And I'm using a Morphe M43 brush. And I'm going to use that to stamp directly in the crease area. Once I have that stamped on, and baby, this color was pigmented. I wasn't ready. It was up and it was stuck. <laughs>
Busy body, pay me if you want me. Can't be turning up with everybody. Nah, can't be fucking on this anybody. Yeah, I got feelings for you, that's the thing about it. Yeah, you know that it's all when I sing about it. Yeah, mama used to be on disability, but gave me this ability. And now she walking with her head high and her back straight. I don't think you're feeling me, I'm out here being everything they said I wouldn't be a good be. I don't know what happened to them guys that said they would be. I said, see you at the top and they misunderstood me. I hold on with him. So once I had the color on the eyelid, like in the crease area and nice and stamped on, I go in with a fluffy eyeshadow brush, which is from Shop Miss A. I believe it's the 126 brush. And I'm going to use that to blend out the harsh lines. So the next color I'm going to go into is like this kind of like orange yellow shade and I'm just going to use that as my transition shade and use that to blend the two colors together. So now I'm just going back in with that first brown shade and I'm just packing it back on just so that I can add a little bit more depth and make the color appear a little bit darker without having to dip into a different brown. Now I'm going to go into my base. Now, y'all, my P. Louise bases are pretty old, and I need to actually throw them away and replace them because they're starting to separate where it's like water and oil is like separated from the cream um, product. So, yeah, <laughs> I recommend if your P. Louise bases like are old and you find them separating, it's time to replace them because your eyeshadow will not lay right on top. OK, and I'll get back into that as we move on to the video. So just outlining her lid space. Um, and making sure that I'm not bringing the base up too high. I'm literally placing the base exactly where I want my lid color. All while creating like this like oblong kind of like almond shape. I'm going to go into the armor shade in the palette and I'm going to pack this color onto the lid. If you guys want a more like detailed video on like shaping the eyes when you're doing eyeshadow, let me know. Matter of fact, I might just do that video anyway. I think I'm going to just do that. Y'all got to let me know, child, because I'm going to do it. Y'all know that video and it's like, it's okay, baby, because I'm, I was going to do that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do that anyway. I'm gonna do that anyway because that's how I am. But I'm just using ABH Cosmetics packing brush. It's, it's discontinued, this brush. Um, it's discontinued now, but I'm just using a packer brush to just pack that orange onto the lid. And I'm basically gonna cover the entire area that we um sketched out using the base. Then I'm just gonna go back in with that brown and smoke out the outer corner. And I'm using a eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. For the inner corner, I'm going to go into a yellow eyeshadow shade and I'm just going to lightly apply that to the inner corner. I don't want the yellow to be like too loud. I kind of want it to just be a wash of yellow, which is why I didn't put a base or anything down and I'm lightly applying it. And I'm just going to clean up my edges lightly with a foundation that is close to her shade. This is optional, of course. It honestly looks fine without it. I don't. I really don't know why I decided to do it, but I just be doing stuff. So to prep her skin, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, and I'm also using. I literally can't remember the name of the primer. 
but it'll be listed down below <laughs> now i'm going into foundation um i'm for the center of her face i'm gonna go with the foundation that's closest and then for the outside of her face i'm gonna go in with the foundation that's darker obviously the outside of her face is naturally darker than the inside of her face so i'm gonna emulate that same thing when i apply the foundation um and I'm just going in with my Real Techniques foundation brush to um, kind of tap that foundation in, press it into place, into the skin. I like to, when I do my foundation, I like to kind of smooth that foundation on the skin so I spread it all around so that when I'm going to blend, I'm just focused on blending the foundation and the product is already where I need it to be. Now we're going to go into concealer. I'm using a mixture of concealers. Um, I'm using the Boing Concealer from Benefit. And I'm using some MAC 24 Hour Concealer. And I'm just going to use that to conceal underneath her eyes. Her forehead, chin, nose. Y'all know the drill. And I'm just using this e.l.f. concealer brush to spread the product onto the skin. Now I'm gonna cream contour and bronze her skin. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way concealers to do so. The exact colors that I use will be listed down below, of course. So I'm going in with my Ulta uh, Precision Foundation Brush and I'm gonna use this to blend out my contour and bronzer on the cheeks, forehead, and jawline as well. And when I'm doing like my contour on the jawline, I always like to bring the color down towards the neck, especially if the neck is darker than the rest of the face. It kind of just helps for things to blend better. And the reason why it looks like I'm being a little heavy handed is because I did let this product dry down for significantly, like for a good amount of time. Because I find that if you don't let the, the Born This Way Concealer dry down, like she's just really not that girl. Like she just never sets. Like the face just be wet in that area. So that's why I have to use a little bit more like um, elbow grease to make sure that I'm really blending it out because it was sitting on the skin for a little bit. Now I'm just going in to now blend out the concealer and I'm taking my Shop Miss A concealer brush. <laughs> Love this brush so much. It's not even called a concealer brush. I think it's called like a highlight blending brush, but whatever. It'll be listed down below for y'all to go get that brush because that brush is A1. Now I'm just taking, um, if there's like any extra product underneath the eye or I feel like the eye isn't blended enough, I go back in with my beauty blender just to get that seamless blend. And then I just make sure I'm going back and forth. I'm picking up my bronzing brush if I feel like I lost some of that bronze shade or contour shade. I pick up my foundation brush if I feel like, you know, things just need to be blended a little bit more. It's all about the back and forth, child. It's all about the back and forth with me. So now I'm going back in with a little bit um, of a lighter concealer. And this is me using the MAC 24 Hour Concealer. I'm going in with NC48, I believe. But I'm just going to use that in the inner and outer corner of her eye. A little bit on her forehead and nose as well. Just to give us a little bit more of a highlight.
once everything is blended, I'm going over my setting powder from um, Sasha Cosmetics. So I'm using Sasha Buttercup and I mixed it with the Huda Beauty um, powder and a little bit of the Ben Nye Banana Powder. And I'm just gonna press it into her skin underneath her eyes using my damp beauty blender. And then once it's set, I go in with some extra powder to leave for baking. And I'm gonna bake underneath her eyes, her forehead, down the bridge of her nose, and underneath her bottom lip. Once I have the powder on her skin, I go into contour. So I'm using the Sephora Pro Contour Palette. I'm using the darkest shade in the dark palette. Once she's all contoured, I go in with a blush and I'm gonna go back in with some bronzer and go back in with a little bit more contour. We're gonna contour her nose using the same Sephora Pro contour palette. Every time I contour the nose, I like to go in with my foundation brush to just blur out the edges so there's no harsh lines. I don't really like when the nose contour is like really prominent, so I'm just going in with my brush to make sure that it's nice and smooth. The next thing I did was take my concealer brush. There's no product on my brush. And I'm just going to press that uh, setting powder into the skin underneath the eyes. If I feel like it's a lot of powder left, I just dust it away a little bit. But for the most part, the powder is getting pressed into the eyes. And you can either use your concealer brush for this or your foundation brush. To set her face, I'm going to go in with the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation Powder, and I believe it's the shade NC50. And I'm just going to take this little small powder brush from Morphe to press the powder into her skin where her face hasn't been set. So her jawline, her cheeks, around her forehead, basically everywhere except for her under eye area. For the waterline, I mixed two of the P. Louise Acid Rain Bases to make like this magenta shade. They have like a lilac shade I mixed with like a, it's like a violet color, but I mixed those two colors to get this magenta color and I'm just gonna use a lipstick applicator to apply that product into her waterline. All right, so once I have that on, I'm going to go in with my Derma Blend setting powder. And I just put a little bit underneath her eyes, like in the inner corner, because we're going to be adding glitter to like um, the waterline, just a little bit. So I'm going to go in with some yellow glitter and I go in, I, I'm keeping it in the inner corner on the bottom. Like I don't want it to be all the way across. And I'm just going to use a small little pencil brush to apply the glitter. And the powder is going to give us like more brightness underneath the eyes, but it's also going to catch any glitter that's falling out. Then I decided to go on to the orange with this, um, with a really fine orange glitter. Only because, you guys, the eyeshadow started to crack. And I think it started to crack because the base that I used is no good anymore. Like, it's starting to separate. It doesn't matter if I mix it together, like, on my palette. Like, the product is no, it's not good anymore. So the eyeshadow started to crack. So I was like, let me just put a little bit of fine glitter on top. And I ended up really liking it anyway. I feel like it brought the look together. So I'm just using a fluffy uh, like blending brush to apply the glitter onto the eyes so that it's not too much. Like it's, it's not a lot of glitter being put on the eyes because I'm using a fluffy brush. Next thing I'll do is just wipe the powder away, wipe any glitter fallout away.
and this is what it looks like so far so for the lips i'm just going in with this matte pink lipstick and then i decided for some reason to go in with this um old school mac lipstick i don't know but it's like a purplish um i don't remember the formula of these lipsticks but they used to have me in a chokehold but after i like blended in the lip liner with the pink lipstick i decided to go in with this um this mac lipstick i want to say the name of it is pervet but i could be wrong it's like a purple like a really really light lilac um it's kind of metallic -y too on top of that i went in with the clear lip gloss the MAC Clear Lip Gloss because I'm a material girl. You could use the Beauty Supply Store Lip Gloss if you want to. It's going to do the same thing, but because I'm a material girl, I like the MAC one. So I'm just going to apply that over the lips just so that the lips are nice and glossy. Once I spray and set the face, I just like to, well, no, sometimes for this look, I decided to go in with the brow gel from NYX. I think it's called like brow glue or something like that, but I really like it. And I'm just going in making sure everything is nice and smooth and blended. I'm going to spray a little bit more setting spray. <laughs> Last step is always mascara. I like to do the mascara last and I'm just applying a lot of mascara to her bottom lashes and I'm gonna apply to the top of her lashes to blend her real into the falsies. <laughs> then I felt like I needed some more um contour and i need some more blush so i just added that um and i also added just a little bit of highlight but yeah these are just the final touches of the look and yeah this is what it's giving i hope you guys love this tutorial i love how this look came out it's so springy so yeah let's hope for warmer weather fast anyway i'll catch you guys in the next tutorial bye Just annoying me, and I'm too about it. And the dirt that they do on my name turn to 